Hello. Hi, we are live and it's Petra here, your personal... <laughs> oh, oh, okay, we've got people coming in already. It's Petra here and I am the Client Enrollment Strategist and I help service-based business owners just like you to the fastest way to book and enroll high-paying clients with ease and with flow. And today, I just really wanted to come and I was thinking about um, speaking to you today simply about how to get clients without testimonials. Um, the reason why I want to talk about this is because I was in a Facebook group a, while, a, a few weeks ago and there was someone in there that was adamant, absolutely adamant, that um, you know she had to do free coaching first to get testimonials and then what she would do is begin to charge for coaching and that's not something that's completely untrue you do not have to do any kind of free work to get paying clients first so in this video i'm going to share with you exactly how to get paying clients without testimonials okay so we've got some people joining in what i would like you to do please is let me know where you're from okay and let me know what it is that you do because what i'll be able to do as well is i can see um who's logging on and if you've got any questions you can literally just literally just ask me okay and i'll be able to answer your questions so let me just give it a few more seconds to get people to jump on and then we can get started okay so if you see me looking this side it's because i've got my laptop open at the same time as well and i've also got my notes because I want to make sure that I'm going to be delivering to you um, as much as I possibly can to help you to get clients now. Um, now, if it's the first time you've met me, there's a few things that I always talk about. And the things are, is that, hi Lee, hi Leah, thank you for joining me. There are a few things that I always talk about that you don't need, okay? You don't need a fancy website. You don't need to pay for a copywriter. You don't need a big massive list and you don't need any testimonials to get clients, okay? Hi Tracy, thank you so much for watching. It looks like you got you got in in time from work. Be sure to let me know um, what it is that you do and connect with each other on this thread as well. Really, really important. Okay, so let me just dive straight in. So, I was with my friend about a couple of weeks ago and she was, she was saying to me, how many people that she's helping with their life, okay? Um, she's, she, hi Jessica, thanks for joining me. She was telling me how much p people she's helping. Um, she goes to their house, she visits them, she helps them with any emotional trauma that they've been going through, any difficulties with their finances, with their, with their life. And I was saying to her, do you know something? Do you know you can charge for that? And she was like, what can I? I says, yes, you can charge for that because that's called life coaching. And she was like, oh, okay, I didn't realise that. We literally had a brief conversation I li and I told her, I said, look, this is what I want you to do. I want you to think about what exactly you're going to coach people on. And then I want you to make a list. <laughs> yes, you made it, Tracy. And I want you to make a list of the people um, that you know, that you know that you can help. And then I want you to contact them and give them a price. Let them know the duration of how long you're going to be coaching them on. What, are the, what they can expect to receive from the coaching and then give them a fee, okay? Give them a fee. And she was like, really? So, she, so I said, yeah. And last week, Friday, I was at her house. We were just talking, you know, just general chit-chatting. And she goes, Petra, guess what? I'm like, what? She says, I've got three paying clients. And I was like, what? <laughs> so she got three paying clients. Just by following my very brief advice, she got three paying clients. Now, she doesn't know anything about the coaching world. What she did do, though, she did do some um, some research. So she did some research online about what life coaching is and, you know, how to go about it and what it involves. And then she literally just asked people and they literally paid her, okay? Now, as far as they're concerned, you know, as far as, well, not there, as far as anyone else is concerned, that uh, people might think, well, she has no credibility, she has no qualifications in coaching. There's no proof that she can actually coach anyone. And, you know, she's got no website. So as far as people are concerned, you know, people might think, oh my God, there's no way that she can get hired. But she did get hired. So I'm going to share with you. Hi, Joan. Thank you so much for joining me. So I'm going to... 
I really, 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 hi Jennifer. I really am so passionate about this because there are so many things that other gurus and experts say that you need in order to start a profitable coaching business, but you really, really, really don't need it. So I'm going to share with you exactly what you do need in order to start signing up clients straight away and who will pay you as well. Now, it doesn't matter what it is that you want to charge, whether you want to, whatever it is that you want to charge, but you you don't have to do it for free. You do not have to do any kind of free work in order to, to get someone to believe that you can help them and to get someone to know that you are the ideal coach for them, okay? Yes, Joan, so many untruths and I'm just completely sick and tired of it to be honest with you. So I just had to come and share it with you. So I see on social media all the time, new coaches especially um, looking for web designers, you know, looking for copywriters, looking to spend thousands upon thousands of pounds and dollars on these um, collaterals such as logos and business cards and all of that stuff. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have them. I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is that if you do not have a client, if you do not have one paying client or even a couple of paying clients and you're not getting money consistently, do not buy a website. Do not hire a branding coach. Don't do it because you're literally wasting your money. Okay, don't do it. What you want to do is go out and get yourself a couple of clients, a couple of paying clients first, and then invest in a website, then invest in copywriting, then invest in um, any type of branding collateral. Okay, now this is what I always say. Now, so many of my clients have had websites that have been very average. Some of them haven't had any websites at all, yet they've gone on to make 10,000 and more just within four weeks of working with me. Okay, and it's because of what exactly I'm going to be sharing with you right now. Thank you, Joan. Yes, it is exactly okay. So, this is what it is. Okay, so I don't need to be wasting money on all of this, oh, wasting money on all of this stuff. Okay, so there are four things that you need, and I call them the four C's. The first one is that you need confidence, the second one to enroll clients is that you need clarity. The third one that you need is connection and the fourth one is conversation. So those are the four things that you need right now in order to book paying clients. Okay, so let me go through in detail what I mean about the four C. So the first one is, hi V, thanks for joining me. Okay, so the first, the first C is you need confidence. Now, when I'm talking about confidence, I'm talking about confidence in who you are as a human being. Confidence in knowing exactly who you are. So who you are, what you like, what you don't like. Confidence in your own personality. Confidence in your ability to deliver results. Hi Katrina, thanks for joining me. You need confidence in who you are as a person. You need, to be, you need to be so in touch with who you are on a deep level to yourself first before you can even start to enroll high paying clients. So when I talk about confidence, I'm talking about not always second guessing yourself, not always looking at um, what other people are doing, um, you know, understanding who you are as a person what is your real true essence what is your values what do you believe in what do you really stand for See, these are the major this is the first first major thing that you need to enroll high paying clients and that's confidence in who you are and your ability hi fiona thanks for joining me that's really really key you really have to be so self-assured Okay, and you, you can't be thinking about, oh, what is someone going to be saying about me? What do people think about me? You can't have any of that at all. If you've got any of that, it's going to be difficult for you to get paying clients. It's simple as that. And that confidence piece is not even anything to do with what you're offering. Hi, Charlene. Oh, of course. Hi, thanks for joining me. So, um, and that confidence piece is nothing to do with what it is that you're offering. This confidence piece is all about your inner 
person, your inner being, who you are at, on a, you know, on a deeper level. Okay. That's the first thing, confidence. The second thing that you need to get hyper, to get paying clients is clarity. So you need clarity. Okay. On what it is that you do. Okay. How is it that you help people? You need clarity on the problems that you solve. So you need clarity on um, your target market as well. Who is it that you um, know the best? Who is it that you know most about? Hi, Carl. Thanks for joining me. So you need clarity on who you know most about. What are those? What are their problems? What are their immediate problems that they need help with right, right now? Okay. So you need clarity on those things. And you also need clarity on what is it exactly that you do. So many um, entrepreneurs really can't even talk about what it is they do. They can't explain what it is that they do because they don't know what it is they do. So you need to have clarity on what it is that you do. And you have to have a step-by-step -step process that you're going to take someone through in order to get them that transformation. So you have got to be clear on the transformation that you give to your clients okay your clients pay you for transformation they don't pay you because you've got this amazing program they don't pay you because you've got a beautiful website they pay you because they have a problem right now and they can see that you are the person who can help to um help them to get rid of that problem so you really need to have clarity on that and also you need to have clarity on the type of person that you want to work with. Hi, Paula. Paula's my gym bestie. Thank you for joining me. You also need to have clarity on the type of person that you want to work with. You really do. Okay. This is really, really important. You have to know who you want to work with inside out because you have to understand your personality. Okay. So I'm going to give you an example. Um, I can't work with people that are extremely over emotional. Okay. I just can't do that. If I, if I, um, if I get a, um, a discovery call with someone who is extremely lacks a lot of self-confidence, really over emotional, I refer them to someone else because that doesn't fit with my personality. Because as I mentioned in number one, I know who I am on a deep level. Okay. So you really have to have super clarity on who what the type of personality who you want to work with okay so that's two then number three is that you really want to have hi Shanta hi James thanks for joining me you really want to make sure that you have connection connection is absolutely important okay connection is the way that you connect with someone on a deep emotional level that you can relate to okay now you can relate to your target market now a lot of the time hi carly thanks for joining me a lot of the time a lot of the time if you're a coach okay so say for instance you are a health coach for instance and maybe you had diabetes in the past but now you know because of the change of lifestyle you now are cured of diabetes okay what happens is when you can when you can connect with someone on an emotional level, you're going to be able to connect with someone who has shared your experiences in the past. So a lot of the time when you're coaching someone, that person that you're coaching is often a reflection of you, who you were in your past. OK, so you have to be able to connect with them on a specific emotional level. Now, this is really, really important here because um, hi, Tony. Thanks for joining me. This is really key when I talked about in number one, confidence of knowing who you are. Okay, you've got to know who you are because um, I'm an only child and I found that I've actually, um, I've, you know, I've connected with people who are also only children. I'm an introvert, so I've connected with people who are introverts. Okay, I'm very outspoken. I have my own opinions. I connect with people who also have their own opinions. So it's really important to understand who you are as a person and then being able to see and um, connect with your audience. You know, understand what it is, what it is that they want. You know, understand the words they use. 
you know understand um and relate to the, the the type of phrases they say you know being able to cook to um communicate in a way that is going to connect with them and it's going to have an, an emotional connection because what i want you to remember is that people people do buy people are ready to buy your services they're ready to work with you okay so you might oh hi portia thank you so much for joining me um so people want to be able to um work with you okay but what it is they have to be that they 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 have to they buy based on emotion and then they justify it with logic so they might look at you and say oh okay well that's how much it costs but because they've got this connection with you it's about how you've made them feel and that connection is also um leads on to now the last point which is number four which is conversation so conversation is really really important you've got to be able to speak to someone on um, a level that they can really understand so in terms of your conversations that you have with people you can call them sales conversations discovery calls consultations whatever it is that you want to call them hi divine d thanks for, thanks for joining me whatever you want to call them you you really have to have a meaningful collaborative conversation when you're speaking to them you want to be able to have eye eye to eye contact whether you're on skype or whether you're meeting in a coffee shop locally you have to be have you have to be able to have that conversation and ask powerful meaningful questions so you've got to ask them questions that they haven't even asked themselves you've got to be able to um, help them to see themselves in their more positive future you've got to be able to communicate the level of um of you've got to be able to communicate the transformation that they will go through when they work with you you've got to be able to help them to see where they are now and when they work with you where they will be okay where they will be in a few months time or a few weeks time um when they work with you okay hi ray hi thank you for joining me so that is really 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 important the conversation is is the piece that segments it all together okay segments it all together having a collaborative meaningful conversation where you can explain and expound upon the transformation that you're going to give to someone okay and then they should be able to see themselves in their more positive future and they can say okay if i work with you by a few months time this is how much um this is how much um sorry i just got a message come through my phone sorry um they'll be able to say okay when i work with you i am going to achieve this this is what my life is going to look like when i work with you okay if you got any questions please let me know so that's the fourth that's the so that's those are my four c's so the first one is confidence second is clarity um th third is um what is it connection and the fourth is conversation hi how you doing so if you can um if you've got any questions please let me know let me know any takeaways let me know but look it first starts with confidence that's the number one key that is the number one thing that it starts with because if you don't have confidence in yourself if you don't have confidence in your offering no one is going to believe you no one is going to believe you when you have these four things you can easily go and speak to someone and um they will sign up as a client okay on my youtube uh, channel i have a i have a video of how to get clients um thank you joan joan was my four c's on my youtube channel i've got a video and it's called how to get clients without a marketing budget so this this video isn't talking about how to actively market yourself and get them this is just really to let you know that these are the four things that you need first these come from within it all starts from within it doesn't start from without so a lot of the time Portia says true confidence is key and that comes from really knowing yourself well put Petra thank you so much Portia yes it does it does come with truly knowing yourself okay so I think that is it for today um if you've got any questions or anything just please pop them down 
and um i'm currently opening up opening up three spots to work with me one-on-one -on -one. if you if you're ready right now to start to enroll high-end clients with ease now i'm talking about if you're ready to start selling your services from three thousand upwards okay and start booking those consistent discovery calls and start closing sales on the phone one phone call all you need to do is send me a message and then we can have we can have a discovery call where can you get more info v says you could just simply send me a message v and we can have a discovery call just literally send me a message um through messenger <laughs> sorry i got confused send me a message through messenger and then we can talk because look you can you have clients out there okay this is what i need to tell you you have got people already in your um in your network that want to pay you okay you just haven't recognized it yet so that's what i do first of all is i help you to really recognize those buying signals that people are ready to buy okay not for me for a client yep v just um send me a message and um we can connect via messenger that's brilliant okay you've got clients out there that want to pay you you've got clients out there that need you there's one thing that i that i really believe wholeheartedly and that if you are a coach you're 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 a coach because you have a um god-given need to support and help someone okay this is your gift to the world now if you are not sharing your gift and not helping people you are doing people a disservice because it means that they can't actually change their lives so if you're not going out there speaking to people and telling them and showing them that you can help them to to have a better life help them to increase their income help them to inc um, to have a better health what are you doing you know what i mean that god-given gift that's inside you it's been it's there stagnant and it's not there to be stagnant it's there for you to help people to change their lives hi paul thank you so much for joining me okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get off now okay remember to send me a message if you want to know more about how i can help you okay to enroll more high-end clients thank you paul thank you paul says wonderful okay so i'm gonna head off and i'll see you on facebook bye bye oh and also don't forget to subscribe so when i when i click off the, when i finish there's going to be a button where you can actually click on subscribe so all you do just click on that button and subscribe okay okay bye bye